Hello and hi everyone. Thank you guys so much for joining in. It is me, Magical Matthias, and I am here to do a review over Rainbow High Series 4 Delilah Fields. Um, she is super duper cute. Um, she is your country chic, like cottage core, um, is the style of fashion girl. Um, there's a lot of lace, a lot of frills, a lot of like daisies, and even some cowgirl boots. Um, I love her. She also is your character with albinism. You can see by her, um, she actually has white freckles and white lashes. Um, I think that was really cute that they did that because you can also turn around on the back of the box and see that this line is definitely, um, or this series of Rainbow High is the most inclusive so far because you've got um, all of your characters on here. It's Mila, Mina, Delilah, uh, it, I don't remember her name. I, is it, it might be Nicole, I'm not sure. Coco and Lila or Lila. Um, she's Japanese, has a band-aid on her nose. Coco is just like a boss um, and she's got beautiful deep skin. Then you've also got, um, oh my gosh, my cat's going crazy. You've got whoever her name is, Nicole or something, but she's got vitiligo and is stunning. I can't find her anywhere. Um, Delilah has albinism. We've got a girl from India who's just like really iconic in this series. Her voice is amazing. And then Mila, um, I haven't seen her in this series. Maybe I haven't, I just haven't been paying attention. I haven't gotten her because I personally can really easily make a doll that looks like that just by using a karma and I mean, if I might get her someday, but she's not top on my list right now. I do like her boots. Um, but that's a very inclusive line to have that much diversity as far as where your characters are from, all the different skin conditions, all the different just genetics right there. This is a really good line um, and it's, it's definitely them stepping in the right direction. So with Miss Delilah, you get two looks um, that are complete. She also may, she may be one of the characters that does not come with um, a pair of flat feet as well from this series. So um, I got Coco, she did not come with flat feet. She did come with flat feet and so did she. That's because they came with shoes that were flat so you could swap their, from their knee joint down. Um, but let me go ahead and get Miss Delilah out of the box and I'll be right back. Okay, off the bat, Delilah has some really fantastic fashion pieces. Um, I love this top. Like, she has so many cute little details in all the little pieces that she has. Like, all the daisies on there, the little bumblebees, the daisies down on the shoe. She comes with a gold stand, a little gold brush. She didn't come with hangers or that second pair of flat um, bottom portion of the legs either. Um, but that's because she comes with heels. But I love those little daisies. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, and that little shirt is adorable. It has a little ribbon in the back as well, um, but it's Velcro, so you don't have to actually like tie it. So it's it's super cute. I love that look, and this is one of my like modified Skylars. Um, but then here is Delilah herself. So I love that her. She's really stiff for whatever reason. This one is really stiff, um, but she's really cute. Um, you can see up close like all those little details they've added on her with little daisies, the little white freckles, the little white eyelashes. Um, so this is actually three pieces. This is like a long shirt basically or dress that goes over a crinoline skirt and then a little like cami type shirt. And then she also has this cute little bracelet that's got, is it like bumblebees? Oh, little daisies. I love that they made her like little daisy girl. Um, then she also has these cute cowboy boots or cowgirl boots with um, with some little lace socks. So I love all of that and all of like the nice like butter yellow. It's super satisfying. Um, and then she even has little bee earrings. So I love that. Um, but let me go ahead and get her glasses off. Um, they're like super secure and like rubber banded in. So be careful whenever you're getting them off. Mm, I say as I like break it probably. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, they're wrapped around her earrings. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> That's so aggravating. <laughs> okay. Well, but that would have, that should have been a lot easier than it was then. Okay. So we've got her glasses off. It's a lot. I mean, I think the thing that I am personally, like, I just don't know about the eyelashes in general. Like, I think that she would look really cute without eyelashes. because it's like very, very light and very bright. But I love the color, they're very beautiful. And then you can see that she's got some sparkle underneath her eye and all those little white freckles. Come on now, focus. But she is a really stunning doll. And um, her hair, it's got some curls, but I think that they, if you wash her hair, the curls would actually come out. So if you wanna keep those curls, um, 
be careful. <laughs> um, but she's very beautiful. Um, I don't know what her face sculpt is. I think it's the same one that Carmen had. But she's very, very, very light. So like holding her farther away from the screen is honestly probably a little bit better for you guys to see. Um, but you can see that she's she's a really classic, beautiful, you know, like she's almost like a country music star. She needs a guitar and her nails are gold. But I love her. Um, I want to hear from you guys. Do you guys like this all? Do you guys like the direction that it's going right now? Because they're kind of just being really inclusive. And as far as like shadow high, rainbow high, everything is very inclusive right now. They're kind of eliminating the idea of a skin color. And I love that they're doing that because by doing things like shadow high and doing things in complete grayscale, you do actually literally eliminate the skin tone itself and your you're able to see the beauty in any aspect of the character. So I like that they're doing that because they're getting children to think outside of the box. And that is the first step, I think. Um, and then with Rainbow High, this last line was just all inclusive. You had a girl with vitiligo, you had the albinism. I just think it was really important to show all of the culture that they're showing right now. So keep it up, keep up the good work. <laughs> Love it, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Um, put it in the comments below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Magical Matthias out.